This is Warren Carr, and this is demonstrating Yaka or Yuka, Y-U-K-A. This is an app that you could scan your food and find out the ingredients of that food. I am on my home screen, and I'll quickly navigate to the app. This is coming to us courtesy of a French developer. Let's now go ahead and demonstrate Yuka or Yaka. And today I'll be demonstrating this app using my Pixel 6 Pro with Android 13 QPR1 Beta 1. And for speech services, I am utilizing the Google Speech Services. I am on the home screen and I'm navigating my way now to Yaka or Yuka. And we'll get started from here. I am starting afresh, so we're starting it together. Yuka. Here is Yaka or Yuka, and I'll tap here to get started. Yuka, welcome. Allow Yuka to send you notifications. On top, Yuka on bottom. And we have the typical Android 13 saying, allow Yuka or Yaka to send us notification. And so it's up to you. You could say no or allow or don't allow. Allow button. There's the allow. Don't allow button. And I'm going to tap on don't allow. Yuka, welcome. We're on our first page now and it says welcome. I'm going to put my finger down. Yuka is a completely independent app that helps you choose the right products. Moving my finger down. Slide to continue. And there's a text there that says slide to continue, which means uh, it's probable that there's no next button. I move my finger down. Onboarding pager icon image, image. And so now I'll simply swipe from right to left with two fingers to advance to the next page. Product analysis. I am on page two and it says product analysis. I put my finger down in the middle. Yuka scans products and assesses their health benefits. Moving my finger down. Onboarding pager icon image, image. So I still have that same message we saw on page one. I'll now swipe with two fingers again from right to left. Recommendations. We are on a page now that says recommendation. Putting my finger down. Yuka recommends healthier alternatives. And now I'll move my finger down. Let's go button. There is the let's go. That means this is the last page. I'll tab here at the bottom where it says let's go. Yuka, sign in with Facebook button. Upon opening it or upon completing that little tutorial or little informational stuff, we are told sign in with Facebook. If I move my finger down. Sign in with email button. Sign in with email, I move my finger down, and there's nothing there. So, from what I'm seeing, you could either sign in with Facebook or sign in with email. And since I do not use Facebook, I will therefore sign in with email, and I haven't created an account yet. So, I'll go ahead and tap on sign in with email. Sign in with email button. Tap here. Smart lock credential picker. Choose an account. Upon tapping on that, it wants me to choose an account. In other words, my device sees my different email addresses, which means I could choose any of these to use it with Yaka or Yuka. So I'm going to pick the one that I use. Warren Carr, enlist. And I'll tap there. Sign in. Password, new password, edit box. Sign up. Suggestions available. To access, swipe right. Showing items one now, to two. Now I'm two. being told to sign in and you know, it's a new sign up. I could create a password. I'll put my finger now near the top so we go from here. Warcare at gmail.com, edit box, email. That's my email address there, move down. Warren Carr, edit box, first name. And it already has my name in there. Password, new password, edit box. And it says password. So I'm going to tap here to create a password. So I'm going to mute this for a second and I'll be right back because I don't want you signing into my Yaka or Yuka. 
<laughs> so I'll be right back after I input my password. Or have inputted my chosen password. I'll be right back. All right, I just finished typing in my chosen password. Password, 10 characters, edit box. 10 characters. To the right of that, of course, we have the show password. Show password, button, not checked. And below that show password is a save button. Save button. I'll tap here to save my password. Keyboard hidden. Save for autofill. Save password to Google. And it wants to save it for autofill. I'm going to tap on save at the bottom. Save button. Yuka. History tab selected one of three in list three items. Now I'm in the menu eye of the app and we're told that there are some tabs at the top and the one that we landed on is the history tab. And these are near the top. So if I move my finger to the right. Recommendations tab two of three. We have the recommendations and then to the right of that we've got. Overview tab three of three. And overview. And now to the right of overview we have some buttons. And the next button to the right will be. Filter out of list. Filter. To the right of that we've got. Settings. Settings. And those are all the buttons that we find near the top. I am now moving my finger down toward the middle of the phone. Scan a barcode to get started. And I find some text string that says scan barcode to get started. And I move my finger down. And to the right of that, at the bottom right, we've got scan a product button. Scan a product. Before though we scan a product, let's go through some of these items that we saw up here uh, to see what they do. So for example, you know, these tabs explain what they are, like overview, uh, recommendations, that is the foods that they recommend for you. And then also the uh, history tab, meaning the stuff that I've scanned, I could go in there and look at the history. But therefore, let's go now and look at both the uh, filter and the settings and see what we find. I will now tap on filters. Filter. Here's filter. I tap. Become a premium member to gain access to the search feature. Close button. So from the looks of it or the sounds of it, the filters would be possible if one is a paying member. And therefore we heard that dialogue that says become a premium member to unlock some of these features, especially like the search and all of that. Close button. And we have a close button there. I'll close it for now and we'll come back to it if we need it to. Yuga filter. Let's now tap on settings, which is the last button there on the top right. Settings. Here is settings and I tap here to activate. Pop-up window. Favorites in list. Tapping on settings, the first item that pops up says favorites. Moving my finger down, I got account. Account, of course, that explains what it is. Going there and manage my account. Moving my finger down. Report a problem. Report a problem. Moving my finger down. Premium member. Premium member. Let's tap here and see what happens when I tap on it. Yuka. Offline mode. Scan your items even when. Your phone has no signal. One of three. Enlist three items. So these are some of the benefits of becoming a premium member. You can scan items even when your phone is offline. And the second item. Search. Search any product by its name without having to scan it. Two of three. So in other words, you could simply type in the name of the food that you want to have it look up and it'll tell you all that info. Moving my finger down. Food preferences. Detect the presence of palm oil, gluten, lactose, etc. Three of three. And that's another one. So if you're someone who is on a diet or if you have some health uh, problems regarding foods and foods that you're allergic to and things of that nature, I could see the usefulness of this app as it will tell you all that is contained in that particular food. I'll move my finger down. Image unlabeled out of list. It says Detected. image Text unlabeled. I move my finger down. Become a member. Support Yuka. Move my finger down again. Pay what you want. It says I could pay what I want. I hope so. No commitment. All right, keep going. Your participation helps the project to grow. All right. $15. 
And the first suggestion we see here is $15. Per year. Per year. And... Slider, 1.0. And there's a slider there that says 1.0. I kind of wonder if I slide it up, see what it will be. Maybe I'll sli slide it up to 100, see what that says. Slider, 2.0. Slide up. 100%. 100%. $20 out of list per year. Moving the slider up to 100% makes it cost you $20 a year. Now, I'm going to move that slider down to 0% and see what the suggested donation or payment is. Slider, 1.0. Slide it down. The 1.0 was $15. Slider, 0.0. I slid it down to 0%. And now put my finger down and see what that adjusts the price to. $10. It adjusted to $10. Now at the very bottom we got... Become a member button. Become a member. Now I'm going to go back. Yuga. Settings. I am now back in the menu eye and we heard it say settings, which is the button found near the top right. I will now go ahead toward the bottom where we saw that scan button. I got a yogurt here. I got a little tub of yogurt here that I'm going to scan. So I'm going to put my finger down and tap on that scan. Scan a product button. Scan a product. I tap here. Permission request on top. Yuga on bottom. Allow Yuga to take pictures and record video. Allow Yuga to take pictures and record video. And I'm going to tell it while using the app. While using the app button. I'll tap. Yuga. Now I'm going to grab my yogurt. And I'm moving it around. All right. I felt a little vibration that was not audible to you. I'm going to put my finger down. Product photo button. And there's a product photo. I'm going to scroll up a little bit, see what I find. Whole milk plain yogurt. It says whole milk plain yogurt. And I move my finger down, or you could swipe from left to right if you're a swiper. Nancy's. Nancy's. And it's a product that I like, yogurt that I really like here. It's called Nancy's. And I keep moving my finger down. 78 one hundredths. Okay. Excellent. It says it's excellent. Positives. And the positives. Proportion 170 grams. Okay. Protein, some protein, 9 grams, 1 of 5, enlist, 5 items. Keep going. Calories, low calories, 130 cal, 2 of 5. Keep going. Sugar, low sugar, 8 grams, 3 of 5. Keep going. Sodium, low sodium, 100 milligrams, 4 of 5. Keep going. Saturated fat, low impact, 4 grams, 5 of 5. I keep moving. And moving my finger down, I find nothing. So there are no negatives here. Now at the top, we've got a couple buttons. On the left, we've got a button that simply says, Button, unlabeled. Unlabeled. And I wonder if this could be a favorite. I'm going to tap on it and see what it does. I tapped on that, and what I notice is that it turns on the flash. So that button on the top left is the flash if you're in a dark place and you need lighting. I'll tap here to turn it off. Now I'll move my finger to the right, top right, we got... Beep button, button. Aha, uh -huh, there's a beep button. So in order for you to hear when it comes across a product, and if you want it to tell you what, or to let you know that it has found a product, you turn on the beep. I'm going to turn this on. There we go. I failed the vibration. Now, I wonder if I could still scan this, or maybe I'll go grab something else, and I'll be right back. I'll go grab something else other than this one. And Yuka. Scan now that I have Ringer the silent. beep on, I need to have something else so we can compare. So I'll be right back. Let me go grab some other product. All right, now, so I grab something from the pantry, and I'm going to tap on that scan a product. Scan a product button. Yuga button unlabeled. I don't hear anything on that side. Move it to the side. 
Turn it around, it's a box. Nothing there. I'm gonna scan the top. I don't hear anything. I'm gonna go to the bottom. There we go, I heard a beep. The barcode was at the bottom. Now I'll put my finger down and see what product it is that I grabbed from that pantry. Product photo button. Product photo there on the bottom left toward the middle. Not all the way to the bottom, but maybe like three inches from the bottom. Move my finger to the right. Super moist cake mix. Aha. Uh -huh. Move my finger down. Betty Crocker. It says it's a Betty Crocker. Move my finger down. Zero one hundreds. Okay. Bad. It says it's bad. So Betty, if you're reading this or listening to this, this is bad. <laughs> Move my finger down. Too sweet, two of four, enlist, four items. And these are the bads, the bad parts about it. One is too sweet. Next. Sodium, too salty, 315 milligrams, three of four. Ooh, next. Calories, a bit too caloric, 160 cal, four of four. And I'll move, I'll scroll down again. And put my finger down. Positives. And here are the positives. Proportion 43G. Move my finger down. Protein, some protein, one gram, one of two, enlist, two items. And the last item under positives. Saturated fat, low impact, one gram, two of two. Move my finger down. Recommendations, out of list. Now we have the recommendations. So if you have this and you want something else that is recommended, underneath these are the recommended items. See all. We have see all, or I could keep moving down. Product photo, cookie butter, partake, 54 one hundreds, good, one of 10, enlist, 10 items. So there are 10 items in there. Product photo, cookies and cram, 90 one hundreds, excellent, two of 10. Mm hmm Product photo, Lenny and Larry's The Complete Cookie Peanut Butter, 51 one hundreds, good, three of 10. One Showing more. Product photo, chocolate fudge cookies, two good gourmet, 63 one hundreds, good, four of 10. Showing items three to four of 10. Look at one more and then we'll curl it good. Product photo, keto cookies, Benton's, 69 one hundredths, good, 5 of 10. There Showing you go. Showing items 4 to 6 of 10. And that is a demonstration of Yaka or Yuka, Y-U-K-A. Now you know how to use it and if you have any dietary recommendations, I think this is going to come in very handy. And that's been a demonstration of Yaka or Yuka, Y-U-K-A.